Hello right bags, it's Joe Plays Games. Welcome to a No Man's Sky tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the duplication glitch still after the latest round of hotfixes and patches. If you didn't know, when No Man's Sky launched, you could duplicate almost anything using a refiner. Loads of people getting loads of credits and units and stuff like that. I told you guys about it in a news update video and I told you guys it had been patched. Well, that was true. They did patch it in a way, but there is still a method that you can use to get double your items so you can duplicate almost anything and you still need the refiners to do it so I'm going to show you how in this tutorial guide now if anything changes and it does become patched I will pop it in description it's been patched and in the comment section down below but for now as of right now this is still working you are going to need whatever you want to obviously duplicate and some refiners so grab your refiner and place it down so that you can at least place one refiner behind it and one refiner in front of it. Now open up that refiner and put your item that you want to duplicate. And for this we're going to go with 40 marrow bulb. So I'm going to pop that in there. You still need to make sure you've got carbon. And if you need to make the actual refiners you need 30 oxygen and one metal plate. So, once you've done that, exit out. Do not press begin. Do not try cooking anything. And now you're going to place another refiner. So you want to place this one just behind it. And you need to make sure it's green. So get as close as you possibly can. Don't worry about being like right, left and right lined up exactly. As long as it's pretty much just as close as it possibly can. But it has to be in front or behind it. It doesn't work if you do it on the sides. And then place another one on the other side. And it's as simple as that. Now take a look at the inventories of the refiners you just placed. There's the 20 marrow bowl. So take that out. I'm going to put it into my exosuit and then pick that refiner up. Go around to the other side, and as you can see, I've already duplicated the carbon as well, so you get bundles of carbon in this too. Open up that one, and again, take the marrow bulb out. And once again, pick that one up too, and so that you're left with the original one you placed. Open that up too, and there's the marrow bulb. Take that out as well. Now if we take a look at our inventory, you can see I've gained 120 marrow just through doing that for two seconds. And you can keep repeating it until you get loads more. So now I'm going to put the 120 inside. I'll place my refiners again. Just make sure you're lined up just about in front of it and just behind it. Now you can only do it three max. If you try putting any more in front or behind, it doesn't necessarily work. Have a look in the inventory. And there you go. I've got 120. I'm going to take that one out again. Pop it in my inventory. And it's important that you pick up the refiner. If you don't pick up the refiner, it doesn't work. And look at that. I'm already getting more carbon again. So you're going to have absolute stacks worth of carbon. Open the first one up, take that out again, and make sure you pick it up once more, and open up the original one. Take out the Romero bulb again, and if we take a look now, we should have over 360, look, 250 plus 110, 360, my maths is 2 plus 2 equals 4. And that's it. You just keep repeating it. So whatever you want. Almost any resource I do believe works in here. So let's try the sodium nitrate. Put 111 of them in. Like I said, just make sure you always get as close as you can to the one you originally put down. If it's too far away, it doesn't work. It has to be as close as you can get it. And try lining it up as much as you can, but it doesn't have to be exact. And then if you open it up again, you can see I've got 111. I'll take that. Thank you very much kindly. 
pick it up open that one up pick that one up pick up the refiner again and open up the original and there you go and we should have 333 at least let's take a look at inventory 250 plus 83 333 and it's as simple as that guys you can easily get full stacks of almost any item you want you just need to go and find the most expensive items so you can sell them on or obviously if you make sure that you actually put the items in there to refine so they become the most expensive items so when you put carbon in it becomes condensed carbon you can go ahead and cook that up and then just duplicate it now there is a couple things we're going to test that just to make sure it doesn't work like I told you guys. We're going to place another one down. Like that. And we're going to place the other one around like this. And if we open up the inventories of both of these, it should still be cooking. As you can see, it's cooking the carbon we've already got in there. And that is the same for this side too. So I'm going to take that one out now. We've got the condensed carbon. I'm going to pop it into my exosuit. And if we open up these two as well and take a little look, you can see I've got the 125 there too. Pop that into my exosuit. And if we look in the original one, you can see it's disappeared. That's because we never picked up these. You need to pick these up every time. So just to show you why that doesn't work again, I'm going to show you one more time. Pick them two up there like that. So, open up your refiner, pop some fuel in. I'm going to put the condensed one we just got. And this time we're going to put, what else can we put that's really expensive? The sodium nitrate's not a bad one to have, so let's pop that in there. Place your refiners back again. Remember, lining it up just right. And then open that one up. And you can see I've got the sodium nitrate in there. Now, like I said, if you don't pick it up and you go into the inventory of the original one, it disappears. That's why you always have to pick up the refiner after you've taken the item out of it. It's a really good glitch. People might not like glitches, but it's more or less a single player game. You can play with your friends, obviously, but you're not upsetting anyone else's worlds or balances of the game like you can do with multiplayer games like Ark or Conan Exiles. So I feel like it's up to you whether or not you want to do it. Now, personally, I'm not enjoying doing it that much. I'm not doing it on my little Let's Play I've been playing. But I've just been mucking around with some friends today and we toyed around and we discovered this idea. So a big shout out to SGT411, True Shot Gaming and Bam Bam It's Sam for helping me come up with this. If you guys have any more glitches, any more tips, make sure you pop them in the description down below. Let us know in the comment section what ones you found. If you've got any problems with it not working, just make sure you do exactly what I've done. And you can, like I said, duplicate almost anything. As I'm showing here from Bam Bam's inventory, he's just done this and he's got himself loads of grantine. This is really, really valuable stuff. As you can see, you can sell it for 250,000 units per 10. And there's the method as well. If you want to double check, make sure you're doing it right. Put one in front of the other. Like I said, you can do it with just two. You don't have to do it with three, but we found it was pretty easy to do it with three if you wanted to get full stacks. A few things to note though, if you're doing it in multiplayer mode, you can't access your friend's stuff. So you can't access your friend's refiner. So you can't just take it out of theirs and do it like that. You have to be using your own refiners. And it's also worth noting that you can't actually do any upgrades. It's only anything that you can transfer from your inventory or your ship's inventory that you can duplicate. So one of the best things of course is gold. So I've got 250 gold. Gonna pop that in there. I've already got one open here, and as you can see, I've got the 250 in. We're gonna take that out, put it in my exosuit, and making sure we pick it up. Remember, that's the crucial bit. Open up the original one, take the 250 out of that one too, and there you go, got 500 units of gold. 
Honestly, it's up to you whether or not you place three refiners down. It might just be quicker doing two, but honestly, when I started out, we only had a few numbers. You need to make sure you do as many as you can. But once you get full stacks, it's definitely quicker just to do it with two. So once you've got an inventory full of valuable resources, you need to get yourself to a galactic trade terminal and of course sell all your stuff. So sell items from your inventories and as you can see, it depends where you are, you're going to get more money for your gold or whatever items it is. So that's it, that's the complete guide to duplication for No Man's Sky right now. There's no plans as I know, looking at the patch notes for the PC, they've not really caught on to this still being a thing. Let me know in the comments what you think about glitches, and let me know, like I said, if you've got any new ones that you want to talk to me about. I'm Jay Plays Games. don't forget to hit this up with a like, make sure you're commenting, and come and join Discord where we've got a No Man's Sky channel for you to come talk to. We'll see you later!